What's the haps? I'm John, aka Maroka, and welcome to Spiral Spiel! We're in the Amber Phantom Gate this week, which is a freeze stratum, which is appropriate for it is that time of year when cold and snow and ice falls all around us and everything freezes over for a bit. And certainly been doing that in the UK, been a fair bit of snow recently. Not, um, I think it varies by region, I don't think it's been quite enough to do anything particularly useful with around my neck of the woods, but uh, all, the, all the cars have snows atop them, so yes. I know other areas, people and stuff, uh, people on Facebook and whatnot have been talking about, oh, people are going sledging and stuff, and I'm like, yeah, I don't think there's enough around here to do that with. In fact, I'm fairly certain there isn't enough to do that round here with, but nonetheless, it's nice that uh, maybe that sort of thing is upon us soon. Uh, what have I got? I've got my voltage. Why am I not destroying them with my voltage? Because, uh, because uh, the Asheron takes care of damn near everything. Oh, god damn it! Come on! I'm frozen again. Help me! I need someone to free unfreeze me. I need an unfreezing partner. No, that's not an invitation for you all to say, I'll come with. No, I wasn't serious. So yes, hello, welcome to Spiral Spiel. Uh, let us do some stuff, some talk about some things. That is what Spiral Spiel is. Uh, let's kick things off with some Spiral Nights news. That's usually a pretty good way to start things. We have the Birdsong Trading Co. are doing their prize giveaway thingies, which they tend to do. Well, they did last year around New Year's and they're doing it again this year for New Year's. So, uh, over the next few days, and indeed at present, uh, there will be, at the top of every hour, every single hour, 50 random people who are logged into the game at that time will be entered into a prize draw to win some goodies, and then they'll receive the stuff, and then everybody promptly logs out again, because that's the only reason anybody logs on for it. So, yeah, you kind of get this surge, you do kind of, I certainly noticed it last year, I haven't picked up on it so much this year, but last year I did recall, you know, at about three minutes to the top of every hour, suddenly on Steam you just get a load of notification that everybody started playing Spiral Knights, and then, you know, if you go into game, you know, at one minute past the hour, suddenly everybody on your friends list just logs out, it's like, ah, I know why you were logged in. Uh, I've never actually won one of those, so I'm not rightly sure what you actually get out of any of those prizes. I suppose I could look it up, but I have not done so. Uh, yeah, I want that one, don't I? So, I'm sure other people will be happy to furnish you with the, the details of what you can get out of those particular prizes, but I've never seen one myself. I've not been fortunate enough, so... If you are a fortunate type of person, you can enter every hour on the hour to try and win stuffs. Although, some people try time and time and time again and win nothing, so... Yeah. Your luck may vary. I don't know, some people, I think some people are pretty good about it, other people are not. Can we test out the Blazing Pulsar? I really shouldn't be doing this. I should be saving this for a field test episode. No, let's, uh, let's not use that. Spoiler alert! It's not quite wildfire yet, but still. Let's take this out with the swords! With the swords! Why did I walk onto the spikes twice? That was a silly thing to do. It was a monumentally silly thing to do. Let's charge attack! Bam! That interrupted you. Ah, that was good. That was very good. And now I need to... I need to play as cautiously now, because I've utterly stuffed that up with the spikes. So, it is New Year's! This is that time of year when everybody promises to do good and shiny and new things with their lives and turn things around and everything's going to be better this year, right? Better than last year. Last year, we kind of all promised to do things and then never really did them. Uh, so, this year we're going to do more. So last year, what did I say I was going to do? I said, last year for my New Year's resolutions, I said I was going to do more content, I think, was the gist of it, and I said I was going to try and start doing live streaming. And that has never come to fruition. The live streaming thing never really happened. And I would like that to be my resolution for this year as well, I guess. Don't you dare hit me. Oh, these guys are the worst. Silver saps are nasty. If they freeze you, you are screwed. Uh, so yeah, I would like to do that. I Now that I've got a teeny little bit of money coming in with the old Etsy projects and whatnot, uh, that should probably... My mileage may vary on a month-by-month -month basis, but certainly you made a nice little bit of profit over the Christmas period because everybody wanted Christmas presents. So it should probably cover the cost of a internet upgrade and... Not, not the extra, the extra fee per month, 
I need to figure out exactly what the price difference is, but I imagine I can sell enough stuff on a month-by-month -month basis that I can probably afford to pay for the internet upgrade that would allow me to do all the things that I want to do with my internet. Because right now it's kind of limiting. So I think at some point over the course of the next month I will actually finally, at long last, get in touch with my landlord and say, Hey, can we swap ISP? I mean, again, I know we've done it like two times already now. Uh, but these guys are now not up to scratch, so it's time for a new one again. Let's play all change the ISP. That's a fun game for landlords. Yes, uh, I'm sure he's going to love me for that. But I, like I say, if I've got a little bit of the money from the Etsy's coming in, I can just say to him, look, I'll pay the difference, okay? I know it's going to be more expensive. I personally will pay the difference and everybody be happy, okay? So that should allow me to get content up in a timely and reasonable manner, and lots of it to boot, and... I don't think I quite want to go down the route of doing... dumping dozens and dozens of videos every day, but I would like to get to a point where I could have at least two videos a day up. That would be a very nice place to get to, so... Uh, maybe not immediately off the bat, but yes, New Year's resolutions for the coming year! Try and get two videos a day in some sort of format up. Thus far, I kind of have... I'm kind of doing that in some regards, and I'd like to step that up a bit immediately. It is probably viable. As you've seen with the advent of indies, I've been putting out two videos a day all through December. That was a struggle is what that was. That, that took a bit of work to maintain that one, to be honest. Uh, I don't... I toyed with the idea, and I did mention this to my patrons over on Patreon, that I would quite like to continue on with that format, the uh, looking at random freebie and cheap indie games. I mentioned that, and I said, like, look, going forward, I kind of like the idea of doing one of those every day. Maybe? I don't know, I've kind of thought about it for a while, and... I don't know if every day is necessarily the right way to go about it. Firstly, I'm probably going to run out of content really fast doing that. And there we go, I'm now trapped by the worst thing in the game. Ow. Oh god, he's gonna continue. I'm gonna have to use a pill. The pill is necessary here. The pill is also very, very necessary. Uh, so, yeah, um... In addition to that, that series was not terribly well received. My indie gaming content, obviously, it's not Spiral Knights. It's not... Uh, Spiral Knights is way better received than anything else on my channel. Uh, the indie gaming content isn't normally that badly received, though, and the advent of indies, uh, relative to everything else I've done on the channel, almost nobody watched it, so I guess that's not the kind of content people want to see. But at the same time, it was kind of an interesting and fun experience for me. I quite enjoyed doing that format. So I would kind of like to continue on with that. So I think I will continue on with it in a kind of a trial format. I will do it three times a week, I think, until... Did that seriously just stop like one pixel short? You were kidding me. I need this heated, goddammit. Oh, man. Uh, yeah, I will probably try to do that three times a week, I think, and I will be doing it till on a temporary trial basis until the end of February, I think, is how long I'd like to do that. I'll try it for two months at three episodes a week, and at the end of that, I will analyze whether it's worth carrying on with, because if it kind of continues to get the reception that I've had throughout December, well, there's absolutely no bloody point in my carrying on with it. If nobody's watching it, there's no sense doing the damn thing. Uh, that's the unfortunate uh, way YouTube goes. This is Gremlins, my gear will do. This is fine. I have a Shadow Sword, that will make short work of them. Gremlins don't like their shadow. Ouch. Or I could stand to be a bit more accurate with my sword. Bam! That's accuracy. A big shockwave of dark and death. That's what I consider to be accuracy. Mm-hmm. So, yeah, I w it won't be Advent of Indies, because obviously it's not the Advent period. I'll have to come up with some entertaining and witty name for it. I was, um, I don't know, I was something, I was kind of toying around with the something a day, game a day kind of format, uh, maybe as a name, I don't know, it's not a great catchy name, but uh, I was also thinking I'd do it a, a day. 
Uh, if I'm not doing it on a daily basis, then maybe that name is not terribly appropriate. So I need something else. So, uh, as always with all of my things, I will continually offer these suggestions up. These are continual on-running things. People only ever seem to do it on the weeks I mention them. But, as always with all of my things, whenever I'm going, oh, I don't know any names for things, I will make my usual offer, which is to say that if you come up with a really, really catchy and clever and witty title for the name of a series, and I rather like it and I decide I want to use it, I will give you a copy of a game from my list of games that I have going spare. You may pick from things and have a copy of a thing. So there's an incentive for you to be creative and witty and entertaining. So the advent of indies format, the... 15 minute blind first impressions, three times a week, of a cheap or very free indie game. I need a name for that series. If you can come up with the name for that series, bearing in mind that I probably want the first episode of this out on Thursday, I'm thinking. Uh, if you, I may just come up with a placeholder name for the first couple, so you've got to, maybe got a little bit of leeway, but... Uh, yeah. Bearing in mind that... Total Biscuit already got the name 15 minutes of game, which given that I'm doing a 15 minute format would be really appropriate, so I can't use that. 15 minutes of game is taken, you can't have that one. Shame, because it's a really good name. <laughs> so, if you can come up with something equally clever and witty to something like 15 minutes of game, uh, that would be ideal, and I will give you a copy of a game in exchange. A lot of people are afraid, are afraid to say, occasionally, when, whenever I do this, people come up with some sort of half-hearted efforts, and it's like, oh, I don't know, is this okay? And it's like, well, if you're not, if you're not really invested in this, why are you doing this? I, I, I kind of want people who are... Sorry, I, I hate to be rude about it, but at the same time, I kind of want a, ca a clever and catchy name for my game. If you're just going to say, oh, I don't know, Game Maroka does game reviews, and it's like, well, no. <laughs> Maroka does game reviews, that's, that's hardly going to set the world ablaze with its clever and entertaining title. I want somebody who has a creative spark who can spare me their creative spark, because I have none, and will then aid my channel and receive game in exchange. So there you go. That's what I'm looking for. Please offer me your suggestions on a plate. And I will return you with a game on a plate. Or possibly in the format of a 15 digit code which you can enter into Steam in exchange for a game. Wow, I took that sword in the face. Damn. Good job we have emergency revives. That's what they're for. Staying alive. Ah, 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 emergency revive. Emergency revive. It doesn't, quite, doesn't have quite the same ring to it as the original, I don't think. Yeah. Ooh, big purple. I like big purple. So yes, I would like to do that format going forward. Um, I did massively binge on Cherry Tree High last night, so that has now been finished. I don't want to give any spoilers, but... I did not expect the ending that I got, I will say that much. Uh, yeah, that is over, that is done. There is at some point in the future a third Cherry Tree High in the works, I do believe. I hit hell. And God knows when that's going to be, so you got some brief resp respite until that happens. But, uh, yeah, I will probably look at that in the future when that comes around. And that's that. Uh, so, yeah, um, I will probably try and get the rest of that out over the next couple of weeks or so because that's a series I've been dragging on for far too long. I keep I keep doing bunches of it and then I'll do like two weeks where I don't put on anything out pretty much. Uh, so I'm kind of, that series is overdue for finishing and I want to actually get that done because I've got other projects I want to do. Uh, for example, and I, I, can't, I cannot for the life of remember if I've ever mentioned this before. So I'm going to mention it now and just get it out of the way so it's on the record. Uh, the series I want to follow Cherry Tree up with is... Uh, 80 Days, which is an Android game, and I talked about it on the podcast, certainly, uh, which you should also be subscribed to, if you're not, um, unless you're uh, offended by coarse language, we are rather coarse at times, but uh, otherwise, if you have uh, no such qualms, then uh, yeah, go, go subscribe to our podcast channel, where we talk about video games every week, except for this week, because uh, we didn't, because uh, Christmas and whatnot, and everybody had other plans, and it was really diff difficult to coordinate. So that didn't happen this week, but every other week uh, we will have talking about video games and things. Uh, so I did mention 80 Days on that, which is kind of a choose-your-own-adventure thing done... It, 
was on iOS, very recently relaunched on Android. It's uh, Around the World in 80 Days by Jules Verne, uh, done in a really, really, really charming style, and I want to play through that. And it works, as far as I can make out, pretty nicely on BlueStacks, which is the Android emulator. On um, or virtual machine, I suppose is what it is, not an emulator. Not that there's too much difference between the two, I suppose. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, and I would also like to wait until I've got rid of this cough before I record it, because that would perhaps be detrimental to the series. Uh, what are we fighting here? Let's check that out. I wouldn't pay too much attention. What have we got going on? We have got Infernal Passage. That sounds like fiends to me. Uh, fiends requires me to be wearing my paladin equipment. And I also probably want to re-equip my blazing pulsar. Okay, I think we're good for fighting fiends. Blitz needle might be kind of a cool option, but meh. I've, I've got my Barbara Stormblade. This will suffice. This will do me just nicely against the fiendies. So yes, that's the thing that will be coming up in the near future. Look forward to that. I think that one's. I think that one be quite cool. I mean, if you don't like the normal kind of normally my reading type stuff is just really silly. I I do I attempt to voice act and I voice act badly. Um, there's a fantastic quote by Jesse Cox, I recall, uh, saying recently, because uh, he used to be an aspiring voice actor, I believe. And he said, he was like, I used to think I could do voice acting, then I realized that I only I only have one voice, it's mine, and I do that really badly. And I was like, yeah, that kind of applies to me, yeah. That's... Most of the comments I've got, uh, indeed, I believe probably mostly from Elpec on my Cherry Tree stuff, it was just like, yeah, all your voices are just you. And it's like, I know they are. In my head they sound different, but when I actually come to record them, they're all pretty much just me. I do one voice, I do it badly, and it's mine. So yes, that's, that's my voice acting talent. So, 80 days, I'm probably just going to do it more as a... I suppose it's going to be more like an audiobook than anything else, I guess. If I had to compare it to anything than voice acting, because I don't think I'm going to try and do too much voice acting talent in that. Just because that ends up just getting ridiculous. I think for Cherry Tree it works, just because it's such a very, very silly game. Uh, but, well, quote unquote, game. Damn it! I'm down already! Curse you fiends, I really should use more pills. No. And speaker pills. There we go. I should have taken one because they dropped one. God damn it. Uh, so yeah, that's probably... Oh, I'm going to have to leave it behind as well. Damn it. <laughs> uh, so yeah, I'm looking forward to doing that, but it won't be cherry tree style. If you like the idea of me reading things, but don't like the idea of me doing awful, 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 awful voice acting, uh, that might be a series for you. So keep an eye out for that. Uh, there's... Raven's Cry, oh, this is mostly just a talking about the future and near future kind of episode, by the way, if you haven't quite picked up on it. It's New Year, we're talking about the future. Uh, so, yeah, uh, Raven's Cry I talked about doing not so long ago. I don't know which route I'm supposed to be taking here. I'll go this way. Uh, Raven's Cry has been delayed. I guess we need to go the other way. Raven's Cry was delayed to late January, so it's going to be another two, three weeks or something until I can actually get stuck into that, so... Okay, don't see, don't see me, don't see me, don't see me, don't see me, don't see me. Yeah! How about you? Yes, good. You didn't see me. Bam. Uh, so yeah, Raven's Cry, as much as I really, 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 really want to get into that, I can't until it's out. And you know, and the amount of delays that game's had, it, it could, it could, uh, the, I think it's the 26th of January, if memory serves. Uh, yeah, I think the 26th of January could potentially roll around and they'll delay it again, so. I wouldn't hold your breath on piracy on the high seas just yet. I would like to think it's going to be soon, but... Uh, that seems, seems like that could be optimistic. Let's see if we can break that without getting its attention too much. And then, bam! Ha! Got you. Good. This is working. Okay. Except for the other one. And the Gorgos are going to be trouble. No! No! Go I hate Gorgos. I hate Gorgos. I hate Gorgos. I hate Gorgos. Ow! That came out of nowhere. It totally didn't come out of nowhere. I triggered it. It should have seen. I should have seen that coming. Right, you get you get stabbed. You no, just just no. Stab, stab, stab. Pills everywhere. Let's take one. How about that? 
so yeah, those are kind of my my resolutions are to try and get out to try and work towards getting two videos a day on my channel. At the minute, I've got podcast on Tuesday, which is two videos in addition to my usual one. Um, two in in addition to my usual one that makes two. I mean. Uh, on Thursday, I've got my Patreon exclusive content. I suppose I should presumably try and work towards getting two content as well as the Patreon. That's probably going to have to wait till I've got a better internet connection, because seriously, uh, I don't think that's viable or sustainable otherwise. That's going to... yeah, that's going to break my shield. <laughs> Saw that one coming. Let's go take some of the many pills that are on the floor. Uh, so I already have double content on Tuesdays and Thursdays, albeit not on this, not necessarily on this channel or available to everybody. Ouch! No, 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 no! Take the pill, take the pill, take the pill. Gorgos can just come over here. I don't want to fight Gorgos and a Silver Sap at the same time. That's just asking for pain and misery, I think. I really do think. Well, the Silver Sap's still following them. You, you're dead, right? You... No! Did you? He hit the Gorgo. Nice. Good work, sir. Good sir. Good work. I'm glad we could work together as a team on this occasion. Now let me stab you in the back with a shocking sword. Uh, so yeah, the new indie stuff for the next two months I think I will be having out on uh, Monday, Wednesday, Friday I think is what that's going to be. So weekends are going to be single videos, but the five weekdays there should be, in one way or another, there should be two videos available for you. Uh, if the indie stuff doesn't work out, well, I will have to find something else, some alternative programming for you, I suppose. That's the thing. Uh, I mean, the reason it's kind of viable is because with the advent of indie stuff, what I did was I was leaving it, I put I put, I put all the content on a memory stick and left it to upload overnight on my laptop in another room, so normally if I try and do it on my desktop, it's just too goddamn noisy. Uh, my computer is not a quiet beast. It's it's got a lot of equipment in there that's it gets warm and fans go loud and it's not good trying to sleep in the same room as that. So I can't do that in the same room as my PC. Uh, however, for my PC is in the same room as my bed. I should note. Uh, at the same time, uh, I can put the laptop downstairs. The laptop unfortunately has a currently got a bad habit of blue screening for like no reason. So it does that, and then my uploads are ruined, as a few occasions have happened in the last uh, month where I've gone, hey, I'll just try and upload four videos overnight, and I've woken up in the morning, and it's got halfway through the first one, and died and stopped. Uh, indeed, that happened... Uh, we've got, how long, oh, we've got ten minutes till that goes. In fact, we've got four minutes till that goes, I can tell you by looking at the clock now. I might be able to win something! That'd be kind of cool. Uh, so yeah, I got, uh, where was I? Where was I? Um, oh yeah, the, the laptop. Uh, last night I attempted to upload, like, six videos overnight. I really wasn't gonna do six, but I thought I'd have a go, see how many it could get done. It got 20% of the way through the first video. 20%! Which is ridiculous. Because, that wasn't even, it didn't even blue screen. If it blue screen, I'd been like, oh, alright, whatever. Windows update. Windows goddamn updates. Restarted my computer 20% into the first upload. You're kidding me, right? Oh, for God's sake. So, I'll make another attempt on that one tonight, I suppose. But, good lord, that shouldn't be necessary. Jeez. There we go. Oh, nuts. I should have... Oh, should I, I should have heated that up at the start of this floor, shouldn't I? Nuts. I didn't pick up on that. I'm not an observant man. I really am not. <laughs> it's not good. Uh, so yeah, that's, that's what you can expect on my channel over the course of the next couple months, just to keep you up to date and where I'm planning to take things over the course of the next year. Like I say, if I get that internet, I should be able to firstly upload videos in a fraction of the current time. No, my, currently, my videos take, you know, a good three to four hours to upload almost anything. Uh, most of my content takes that long, and it just, it's just not sustainable to get loads and loads of stuff up all the time. So if I get a faster internet, then I should be able to upload much faster and get things to you in a reasonable time frame, as well as being able to do things like playing Spiral Nights whilst also uploading video. Wouldn't that be nice? 
because right now, if I upload video, I can't play any online games, which means I can't record any online games, which is not really very practical. So, Blazing Pulsar, get forged, please. Forge prize box would be rather nice. Can we have one of those? No, of course we can't. So onwards, two minutes until the prize giveaway. Let us do one question, for that's the only only noteworthy thing I actually received last week. Uh, which is actually a follow-up to what we talked about last week, which is... Oh god, I brought the wrong weapons. <laughs> yeah, that, that's not the question, but um, nuts. I should have brought a shadow... Yeah, no, I don't have a shadow weapon. Crud and ouch. That should not have shot myself in the face. This is going well today, folks. I just shot myself in the face, and I'm down to one pip of health already. There's a healer in the background healing up. I can see that. Bloody thing. Stop healing jellies. No. Everybody stop. All ahead, stop. I do have a fire bomb there. I could have... Eh, oh, too late. They're dead. I, could, I also got a fire gun, actually. I could have set them all on fire and reduced them to uh, a mere gelatinous blob instead of a spiky and evil gelatinous blob. Let us, let us do that. That's fun. Boom. Get melted. <laughs> I love doing that. It's so satisfying to get those guys like that. They become so feeble and weak and... Do they drop less loot if you do that? That's an interesting thought. I've not tested that. So I don't know if anyone has. It is a thought. A very valid thought. How do I get those guys? There's no safe place to stand. I could, I could bombard them with a pulsar. Um, I don't really want to do this, but... This is the only viable weapon I've got for taking these guys out, so it's going to have to be... Yes, okay. We're going to have to test shiny new weapons. Don't like it, but I have no choice in the matter. It's the only way I can do this. Also, while we're here, this thing really... Whoa, no, 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 it trapped me. And the dash, for whatever reason, just didn't work. I wanted rid of this thing, because this thing's really annoying. Hi. Yeah, get dead. There we go. Ugh, oh, what a run. What a run. This has not been a good day for me. So as I was saying, yes, we have a question. I didn't win that, did I? No, I have won nothing. Uh, you, do you want fire? Receive fire. Receive fire! I said, receive fire! There we go. You received fire. Oh, he's nearly dead now. It's not even worth finishing off. Good lord. Alright, so one question. Slimy businessman. Uh, says on the topic of last week of the uh, the intelligent roads and whatnot uh, with the new self-driving cars Do you think they will be monitored by police in terms of making sure everyone drives at the right speed? Or if they're drinking and driving because of their dangerous speeds? Or do you think the new self-driving cars will have a built-in system of driving on the speed limit on every road? What do you think will happen to shows like Top Gear when these cars are introduced? Will they die? I hope not Um, I Dep it depends how you want to implement it. I mean, I imagine that if we're talking intelligent cars, they would be able to limit the sp They'd be able to intelligently find out what the speed limit of the road is and limit the car's speed to that. So that would truly be a feature of uh, being an intelligent road and an intelligent car. It seems like that would be actually quite a useful and safe, you know, safe feature. I understand... Actually, actually, I've never quite understood why they make cars that can go faster than the speed limit. That doesn't seem too reasonable. Uh, if the speed limit's is whatever it is. Why would you make a car that can go faster than it? I'm sure there are very good reasons for it. I'm sure people would be quite glad to tell me of those. And I'm sure many people enjoy driving at speeds faster than the speed limit. So that doesn't make it legal though, you know, and it doesn't make it safe. I want to take these pills before I die and have to ruin this entire run. Uh, so yeah, you... Uh, I suppose if one had the, uh, the intelligent roads, one would be able to actually enforce things like speed limits, which would uh, presumably increase safety on the roads, reduce number of accidents and deaths, and that seems like, on the whole, a fairly positive thing uh, to introduce. Uh, because, well, increased safety is always good. Less people getting hit by maniacs doing crazy speeds. That seems like that would be a good thing. Uh, as far as stuff like drink driving, I don't know. If we're talking about auto driving cars, I literally, as in literally, you don't have to control it. I don't see necessarily why there would be too much issue with drink driving because you're not the one driving. The machine is doing the driving. You are you are relegated to the role of passenger. So it's not really drink driving. It's drink passengering. So I can't see why that would be too much of an issue. 
Unless, as we say, there was an option to take con command of the wheel, as we discussed last week, you know, that would be a viable option to go down with intelligent cars and self-driving cars and whatnot. You could make cars so that, that you could take control of them, a la iRobot. Um, and, yeah, if that was the case, yes, you would have to regulate drink driving, but I don't see why that would be any different to what we already have today. Uh, already today it just kind of has to be manually enforced. People need to keep an eye out for idiots on the road and deal with them appropriately. Uh, I don't see why that would be any different if the cars had an option to drive themselves. It would still be much the same procedure. It's just that there would be a safer option if you wanted to get home from a night out on the boozing and you're like, oh I need to get home. Well your car... I'm not in any state to drive, but my car is. You could just hop in your car, chill out, and let the car take you home. I don't see why there would be any issue with that. That seems like a really good way to do things. Just so long as you didn't feel the need to take control of the car. And of course, there inevitably would be someone. Which way was I headed? Was it down? No, I don't think it was, was it? It was left, wasn't it? Yes. So. I can't see why that would be too much of an issue. I, th I, th I feel like there are many great advantages that would be uh, given from, you know, having self-driving cars. And any issues that you could possibly think of are already issues that kind of already apply to the current cars we have that don't drive themselves. I suppose the main point of contention comes with if there were any mechanical failures that caused accidents or whatnot. Uh, at that point, where does the blame lie? People, uh, uh, I suppose, I suppose it's a sort of a strange point to be arguing. But at the minute, you can at least point to the driver and say, "Hey, he did it. It's his fault. Lock him up." Whereas now, if someone causes it, if, if with a self-driving car, it just becomes a tragic accident and nobody is to blame. Except maybe the manufacturers. Can you blame the manufacturers? Do you blame the people who are maintaining the systems? I don't know. It kind of shifts the blame elsewhere, but I don't know whether that's necessarily an issue. I feel I feel like uh, it would be nice to uh, nice to imagine that in cases of uh, injury or death, uh, at least justice can has the potential to occur. Whereas you know, if we're talking about machines, uh, there would be this a great sense of injustice of oh, justice was not served. You can't you can't fault the machines. You can't arrest and lock up the machines for for killing my beloved in a senseless and tragic accident. Oh God, I'm stuck. I'm frozen. I need to take pills. Give me pills. Uh, so yeah, I, I don't think that's necessarily an issue, it's just a weird one that society would just kind of have to come to terms with, I think, because it's not really an actual problem per se. I think it's something pe some people would be inclined to make into a problem, but I don't think it's a real problem. Oh my god, there are three healers all here together. Which game designer decided putting three healers in one room was a really clever and smart and good idea? Because seriously, jeez guys. No, 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 no. All healers must die. I did uh, play a spot with Nimcha yesterday and I got into a room with two healers. Uh, trying to kill two healers with a black hawk is not a fun time. It's really not. Even with the gunner update, it's still really nasty. It's not good. It's not good. Because they just revive each other and bubble over and over again. It's like, guys, stop. Just let me progress. I wish to finish this level. Oh, man. Uh, as far as shows like Top Gear, um, I imagine... I can't imagine they would go anywhere. I mean, it's more of an entertainment system than an actual driving show anyway. I'm sure they'd find a way around it. They would drag it out as long as they possibly could. They wouldn't let it go anywhere if they couldn't. Because it makes too much money. It's too successful for them to just let it go. They would drag it out as long as they humanly could. And as long as they are making cars that are not self-driving, and I think they will, for many years to come, still be a demand for that kind of thing, uh, I imagine that uh, shows like Top Gear would continue to hang around. Yeah until we get to a system where every single car ever manufactured is a self-driving one. Maybe then they'd have to let it go, but at the same time, I think a lot, a lot of people are kind of getting a bit weary of the Top Gear thing anyway. It's becoming a bit silly, it's a bit of a parody of itself, it's, a, it's an old monstrosity a behemoth that you can't get rid of at this point, and Jeremy Clarkson's casual racism is just starting to rub a few too many people up the wrong way these days, so... 
Yeah, it's not going too well. What have we got to buy? We have oh, we have a blazing pulsar recipe. I could probably sell one of those. Uh, and do I have the money for it? I do have the money for it. There's a grand Faust, Faust recipe. Is anybody still buying those these days? I feel like I could sell it, but I don't know what the demand is for them these days. I'll stick with the blazing pulsar. It seems like a safe bet. Yeah, there we go. So that'll do that for today. Thank you very much for watching. Please leave me names for the series in the comments because then I can award uh, prizes to people who, or at least someone who comes up with something really clever and amazing and witty and original and fantastic and really charming. If you're not, if it's not something that I will use, then I'm afraid I won't give you a game. But if I actually end up using your suggestion because it is that good, then I will award you a game and you may pick from a list and it will be awesome. Uh, also, don't forget to leave me questions. It's been a bit quiet on the question front for a few weeks. So, yes, uh, wonderful and fascinating and scintillating topics. Please leave those in the comments below. Those help me out a bunch because that gives me something to talk about next week. And why don't you let me know what your New Year's resolutions are as well? Because those would be cool to hear as well from you guys. So, those would be awesome. So, thank you very much for watching. I've been Maroka. This has been Spiral Spiel. I forgot to charge my sword. And I'll see you next time.